The Journey Down is a point and click adventure game with African roots. You're going to want to see its art style and its take on the genre. I'm Zach Scott. This is Quick Play. What's up guys? Zach Scott here playing The Journey Down Chapter 1. Uh, this is a new game out. It's already out for iOS. I'm playing this on my iPad, but it's coming out for Steam later this week. And so I thought I'd give it a quick play. Um, if you guys want me to do this whole series, just uh, all you got to do is like this video. If at least a third of you or 2,000 likes are made then I, within the first week, then I will play this entire The Journey Down series, however many chapters it ends up being. So let's just start a new game. This is a point-and-click adventure uh, with African roots. I think that's the quote that I read on the Steam profile or the trailer or something. Let's do a new game. Let's do settings first. Subtitles on. Okay, good. Let's do a new game. Yes. Now the graphics in this game are really cool, really stylized. Uh, it looks great on the iPad Retina display. And, uh... Definitely has its own unique art style, as you can tell from the characters here. Can that guy even fit in that car? <laughs> the tall one. And I, yeah, I really like the art style right here. And then, you know, the music is pretty good too for what it is, if this is your style of music. Come on now, Professor. We know you're in there. Our no. boss needs that book of yours, and he needs it now. Hey, Post, I think they dozed off in there. How about you be a nice gentleman and give him the old wakey wake, yeah? <laughs> My pleasure. Now this part, the graphics are a lot gone. smoother than the rest of the game, in my opinion. I played through a little bit. Oh, I gonna like this one bit. Gone! I talked to him an hour ago, and he swore they weren't going anywhere. Sir, don't worry. I think we got our lead. Well, go on. What is it? It's a knot, sir. Someone's trying to cycle around the words gas and chatter. Gas and chatter. What do I care about gas and chatter? Just find out who has my book! Owen oh, Bozzi. Kill them. Uh-oh. <laughs> so that sets up the whole storyline, basically. I'm going to be playing, you know, just a few minutes of this. Sky Goblin, Goblin is the uh, developer of this game. And uh, it shows us the credits. It's kind of like a, like a movie. It's really cool. Chapter 1. Episodic Gaming is... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a fan. I'll admit that I like it. Um, now, one thing... You know, I, I'm playing this game mainly because, you know, I played The Walking Dead, Back to the Future, uh, Jurassic Park, all the Telltale games. And this is by a completely different developer. I thought I would check it out, see what it's like. Again, if you want me to play through this whole series, just leave a like. It's very beautiful. The graphics are very cool. But, oh, what? What's going on, Keto? What happened to the power? Oh, oh man, Buana, we've been on. Oh, oh man. Check this note out. Due to the failure of the customer's part to pay the fee of electrical coverage, Armando Power Core has hereby terminated the contract with this facility. Power will resume once the sum of four thousand dollars is submitted to your Armando Power Core account. Man, we're screwed now. Oh, man. How are we ever going to repair them when our pumps are down? Yeah, selling gas is going to be a whole lot trickier without gas. <laughs> yeah, you said it, man. We haven't got a choice, have we? Nope. Let's take this into our own hands. I've always wanted to tear one of these open and meddle with its insides. The warning tape makes it look like a huge Christmas gift, too. We'll have our power back and customers coming here in no time. Hey, <laughs> Buona, give me a hand with this. All right, now this beginning part basically serves as a tutorial for the controls. Over here in the lower left is your inventory system. 
And then the rest you do by dragging, at least on the iPad, you, you drag around to, to find out, you know, what's what. This is Kito. Hey, Kito. You sure about this? Tearing up Armando Power Co. property might get us in trouble. Bah, don't worry, man. They'll never find out. So you basically just drag this around to find out what you can interact with, and obviously, the power box. It's broke the tape. Oh, intriguing! Open the hatch, man. Or are you afraid? Ha! I'm afraid of no hatch. Alright. Now, obviously, the, the graphics at the beginning of the cutscene were a lot smoother. This reminds me a lot of Claymation, almost. It has, like, a very... Maybe because of the frame rate, I think, is what makes it look like that to me. So this, drag it around. There's some brackets. There's a box. Hmm. I'm guessing these are the thingies that hold the hatch in place. Good guess, Moana. <laughs> now, the characters in this game are really exaggerated. You'll see that. Okay, let's open it up. Hey, it's a switch. I bet it's connected to all sorts of dangerous things. Let's mess with it, man. <laughs> yes, let's. You sure this is a good idea, man? <laughs> nope. Me neither. Let's do it. You read my mind, man. This Here game is goes. crazy. The characters are crazy. The things that you uh, do are just over the top. What was that sound? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oops. That's more like it. Good job, Mon. Thanks, man. <laughs> Let's go, yeah. Bunny Pumps. Welcome to Buana's Gas and Chatter, ma'am. Hi, I... Just a moment while I get the pump going. No, that's all right. I'm not here for... Hey, wait a minute, lady. Where's your boat? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not here for gas. I took a taxi. My name is Lena. I come from the university. I'm looking for a very special old book. Uh-oh. A book? Listen, lady, this is a gas station. We don't sell no books. Actually... For you, lady, we just started selling them. <laughs> what are you talking about, Buana? We ain't got no books. Sure we do. Remember Count Andoro's old laugh? It's full of old books. <laughs> they don't do us any good up there. You got a point, man. Anything to clear that debt. Great! Where can I find them? Right this way, lady. <laughs> oh man! I knew I had forgotten something. What? What's wrong? We used the ladder steps as firewood the other day. <laughs> For some reason, <laughs> at the time, it felt like a smart thing to do. Now, I wonder... Looks like we're gonna have to find some new steps for the ladder. You stay put while I figure something out. <laughs> Already the prim okay, the premise. I'll wait right here, Mr. Buana. <laughs> the premise is ridiculous. They use the ladder steps as firewood, so let's figure something out. Man, the service in this place is terrible. <laughs> Kito is busy though. I don't blame him for not answering. Cash register. We're gonna. <laughs> this does look a little bit like claymation to me. All that's in here is a bunch of boring letters from the power company. I quote Dear customer, your power provider, Johnson Electric, has been purchased by Armando Electric, who hereby takes over your current power plan and contract. Contrary to your previous power supplier, we demand payment to be made regularly and on time. <laughs> Those cold-hearted bastards! Johnson Electric always cut us slack when times were rough. Power to your facility will be cut within a month unless your balance with us is zeroed. I was kind of hoping they were just bluffing, so I sort of forgot about all these letters. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Oh well, what else is here? There's a medium-sized blue cup. A 
because we gotta walk all the way around <laughs> to interact with it. It's my favorite mug. It's got a dried out slice of lemon stuck at the bottom of it. Nice. <laughs> but it's not something I feel like carrying around for no good reason. It's got a dried out lemon. Nice. Photograph. I can look at pictures later. All we right. got. All right. Oh, whoa. So yeah, be careful not to interact too soon with the with the game. Once it starts up, you know, once because uh, basically what happens then is it stops him from talking. No need for calling anyone right now. The steps are missing. No way I can climb it the way it is, man. Understood. Photograph. I can look at pictures ah, later. Ah, pictures later. We gotta fix the ladder now. All right, all right, I gotcha. Just looking at everything. That's my pilot certificate. Count Anduru gave it to me a couple days before he disappeared. Nice fun. Hmm, sorta of resembles a propeller, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's folders. a bunch of folders we made to lively up our business. Never mind the suspiciously low price. Cow Nando's gas and charter covers all of your fuel and transport needs. No questions asked. Call 99450 and we'll make an offer you might not refuse. What a phone number. Hey, miss. Call me Lena. Okay, then. Hey, Lena. Hey, yourself, Buana. How's it going with the ladder? You find a way to fix it yet? Um, nope, not yet. But don't worry, Buana's on the case. <laughs> Buana's on the case. Fridge, what's in the fridge? Cheese! How I love cheese! I better grab this last piece before Keto finds it. <laughs> so cheese was just added to my inventory, I guess. All right. Hammock. Oh, I'd love a nap. But I'm not quite sure Lena would approve right now. Okay. Cupboard. Hey! I found breadsticks! <laughs> I love breadsticks! <laughs> Holy mother of monkeys! <laughs> These breadsticks are stale! <laughs> <laughs> All right. These breadsticks are way <laughs> beyond eaten. I bet we can find another way to put them to good use. <laughs> the premise of this game is ridiculous. <laughs> this might be dumb enough to work. <laughs> All right, so that's a fairly simple, straightforward puzzle Man, of repairing the ladder. Perfectly. <laughs> Let's hope they don't snap when we climb them. My God. So. <laughs> <laughs> let's go up so I just repaired a ladder so okay but just to recap just to recap what just happened I apparently used the ladders steps as firewood and then I replaced them with old breadsticks and now we're gonna climb up so let's go <laughs> after you lady the voice acting is pretty good the characters Man, are really exaggerated I been here since I was a little kid it's just the way I remember it the only thing missing is that fool of a father of mine, Count Andodo. Missing? Where'd he go? We've no idea. He just disappeared one day when we were kids, and we ain't heard from him ever since. But we've done just fine without him here. Aside from some slight financial instability, we've done fine. <laughs> you find what you're looking for, lady? I want to get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, sorry, no, I can't seem to find the book I'm looking for. Could you help me find it, perhaps? It's supposed to be leather-bound and have a big swirly symbol on its front. Sure, no problem. I bet it's in this mess somewhere. All right, so now I gotta look for her book. No, it's not in this pile. <laughs> okay, that was Only simple. old children's books there. Nice candles. We used to have them lit all the time back in the day, when Cow Nandodo was around. <laughs> it's full to the brim with moth eaten clothes. Yuck! Hey, here's a shirt that stayed more or less intact. 
Nice. Looks like it fits me too. I'll keep it. It's a bunch of books on plants, trees, and herbs. No swirly sign books here. Sorry. Check the bed. I remember lying in this bed having stories read to us. We had some good times before he dumped us here on our own. That's for sure. I don't remember the bed being so darn stiff though. Wait a minute. There's something. Oh, that's hey, the book. Hey, lady. I think I might have found your book. You found it? Amazing. What's so special about this whole thing? It's the journal of the journey down. The what? <laughs> the what? It's a collection of scribbles and notes on how to reach the Underland. The Underland? Isn't that sort of illegal? Yes, so much as touching the Underland literature is illegal. Uh -oh. I spend all my time looking for it. Alright, so I get to look for... okay. You get, spend all your time looking for illegal literature. I get to choose what to say. What for? Aren't you afraid of getting caught? Oh, they haven't caught me so far. Well, who's after you? You know of the Armando Company, I take it. <laughs> sure, uh -oh. everybody knows of them. We recently became customers. You together with the rest of St. Armando, I have reason to believe there's something fishy going on in the city. And someone is covering it all up. And somehow, I'm certain this book is the key to understanding the whole puzzle. I need to call the university immediately to confirm this find. Here you go, lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, man. <laughs> I bet the switchboard reset itself when we lost the power. Give me a second. I'll have it fixed. Yeah, looks like we're gonna need to re-enter the phone number of this place. Oh, I remember it. It would have been a piece of cake if it weren't for the fact that I forgot it. No, I remember it. It's 99450. I can't move it. I can't move it. Oh, uh... Orange? I see, I see. There we go. I bet now I can move it. It's four, five, zero. There ah, we go. That's it. Hello, Professor. This is Lena. Calm down, calm down. What's happened? Good God. Did they steal anything? No, that's all right now that we have the book. Don't worry. I know just the place to hide. This plane of yours, does it fly? Alright. Of course, lady. She's as good as new. Wanna air at your service. Great. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Alright. Here she is. A precious airplane. Come on in and check out the insides. <laughs> what do you think, lady? A beauty, isn't she? Yes, yes. It's very uh, charming. But can you get her airborne? Airborne? Are you crazy, lady? This plane hasn't flown for <laughs> decades. You should have told me that before I said anything. One moment, please. You got to help me out here. We need this money so bad, and you know it. One flight and our debt to the power company will be long gone. You think you can get her running? I have no idea. <laughs> Do you still think you can fly her? Hey, there's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> I guess you're right, Buana. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> okay, high five. That's the spirit. Of course we can get her airborne. Great, that's what I wanted to hear. Just give us a couple minutes to do some tiny touch-ups and then we'll be on our way. All right. Well. <laughs> a couple of minutes? Tiny touch-ups. Yeah, what's the big deal, man? What are we missing? Well, for starters, we have no engines. Uh -oh. oh. And we're missing a propeller, too. Also, we're gonna need something to steer with. No worries, man. You get started while I go find the missing junk, okay? Okay, mon. Good luck part hunting. Thanks. 
A pair of engines, a propeller, and something to steer with. Shouldn't be too hard to come by. Alright, so this is going to be the stopping point for me, guys. Uh, if you if you want me to keep playing this series, just let me know with uh, leaving a like. Uh, so basically, my review of this is... It, well, it's a point-and-click adventure. The graphics are great. Uh, the characters are, are <laughs> over the top. The voice acting is good. Uh, the premises of some of this, these puzzles, even the really easy puzzles, are just ridiculous, which makes me kind of want to play it just to find out, like, am I going to have to, like, you know, f well, I already know the propeller is going to be that fan, but, like, uh, the engine, what am I going to use for an engine? The cheese? I mean, <laughs> I mean what's, what, what's going to happen here? So, I don't know. But, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the quick play. So, this is Journey to, what, what is it called? Journey, <laughs> I just forgot what it's called. Let's go to the menu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thanks. To, please save it. Journey below. What is it? Journey. Journey down. The journey down. Chapter one. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you guys later. And thanks so much for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you want to support this channel and help it grow, all you got to do is click the like button. Come back next time for more. And until then, check out some of these videos.